Hey guys, thanks for coming in. I, I started four weeks out and I just finished my workout. I just did fasted cardio, woke up at five, got myself ready, got to the gym and had the best cardio of my life and then finished off with some sauna. It's go time guys, it's go time. Four weeks out and it's time to rock and roll. No more anything, like no more excuses. Like. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta do it 120%, 150%. Welcome guys to my four weeks out and I have a pre-workout rant and I want to share you how I'm feeling at four weeks out because it came a big realization on how I feel and forget what bikini competition is all about. And I forget how you feel at four weeks out when you get closer to this show. Basically, when you compete or you're near a bikini competitor or any competitors, bitch mode begins at four weeks out. You get irritated, you get frustrated, you're just, your hormones are all over the place. And a lot of it is stress. And not only it's stress, but because the reason it's stressful is because bikini competition or any type of competition is a very selfish sport. It's all about you, you focus on you, it's me, me, me. Throughout my whole life of prepping or of competing, I was always single and I've never really cared about having a boyfriend, um, obviously I did not have a kid or nothing. And this is the first time I'm competing as having a family. The last time I competed, I did have a boyfriend, I found my husband at the time and the day of my show is when I realized I was in love with him because he was the first person I was not irritated, frustrated, angry. I was just such in a happy phase. I was never in bitch mode phase. In the past, whenever I tried competing, I either tried to date during the time and guys just irritated me and I always joked around like if I ever find a guy that does not irritate me during a competition prep, he's the one. And that's when I came to realization on my show day in 2015 that I was in love with Fat Tony, real name, Adam Taylor. If you know his story, then you know why his name is that. He was never fat. But, yes, and now it's different. So, it's the first time I'm competing, being a mom, having a family, having everything, and it's just a different mindset for sure. Um, I've been annoyed a lot of annoyed easily so just knowing that I don't have full control of my schedule uh, it's not self I can't be selfish I focus my daughter and my husband first versus me and then I think that's when my stress level comes out because it's like four weeks out means go time it's like you gotta put your 120% in of your workouts, your meals, you just have to be dialed in. And I think that's why I've been putting in extra stress. So I feel like I've been, well, I haven't, I don't feel, I've been more mean and angry and very attitude-y, snappy to my husband, which I feel so bad and he's aware of it, which I'm so grateful that, you know, he understands the situation and he has, has nothing to do with him at all. And also because like with Maui, you know, she's in this taller stage, she's in the background. She's, her, these voices, this, gets in my head and then it gets me irritated and then I'm just like annoyed more and it's she's just innocent and it's just because it's show day but obviously she's telling me let's go so I just want to show you guys about that and I will continue my feelings later after the gym
about to finish my four weeks out and about to start three weeks out. And man, I just realized I'm gonna be three weeks out. So hit everything just like hit to me and it's freaking me out. I can't believe it. Like tomorrow is gonna be three weeks out and I'm scared. I'm excited, but it's scared because I don't know, am I gonna be ready? Everyone says I look good, but the thing is, no one knows what competition looks good. Like, yes, I know I look good. I'm feeling good. I lost weight. I'm seeing results. I'm seeing changes. But the question is, am I gonna be ready for the show? So that is my fear right now. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, bitch mode starts coming out, it forks out, and it's mostly because you're stressed, you're just like, you know, trying to fit everything in balance, and it's just insane. And my life has been so busy, and go, 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 because I'm focusing on taking care of Maui, and taking her to swim lessons, and taking her to gymnastics, but then also finding time for myself. And then my husband, he has tendonitis because he hurt himself. So I'm like, want to focus on taking care of him and priority because obviously he can, yeah, I'm, I have to be a wife and I can't, and like I mentioned earlier, bikini is a selfish sport and you want to be selfish because it's all, you got to focus on you, making sure you do everything that you need to do. And then later on, it's like, but now I'm not single anymore. I can't be selfish. I can't. I can't put everything in me. I mean, obviously I preach like you gotta do self care, self love, like you really have to take care of yourself and you have to work out and just to make yourself happy because if you're happy, then the whole family's happy, right? So that's the main focus, but at the same time, but just also learning the balance of not putting uh, all your basket on you, you gotta still put some love and energy towards your real life, your family life. So, so that's where I'm at. And I've been working out, I've been tired, but Molly's been sleeping. I haven't been really doing fasted this week. So I've been like stressing. Um, I've been pushing hard at the gym, but there's times I'm, when I get there, I'm just feeling so exhausted. Like right after swim classes, we go straight to the gym. Cause literally here's my gym. And here is swim lessons. It's like literally not even a block. It's like across the street. And so what's, ex I have to go. So I'm doubling up. I'm pushing extra hard and sweating mommy classes, make doing more work, kind of doing extreme. So then I could also get a little bit extra of that too. And then on top of that, I'm still going to the gym right after sweaty mommy or vice versa. If I sweaty mommy in the evenings and I go in the morning, so technically I'm working out, working out twice a day. So I'm really pushing it. So I'm getting more and then, then I'm like, but I don't want to make sure I don't overtrain too because I don't want to burn myself out. So here's me rambling all over the place. Meals has been good. Nothing has been changed. The good news is for breakfast, I took out the peanut butter for PB2 to kind of cut down the fats, but now my fats is higher. So the cool thing is I got to add my peanut butter back into my oatmeal, but the downfall is I have to cut the banana out. So now I'm eating half a banana instead of a whole. Well, technically I never really ate a whole because I gave, I always give like this much for Maui, but now it's like, that's changing. Now I have to cut the banana completely out because bananas has high in carbs it's 27 grams of carbs and we could consume carbs but the thing is is also there's high in sugar so that's the reason why I have to cut that out but I am gonna replace it with blueberries because blueberries is only five grams of carbs and it's only three grams of sugar for one fourth of a cup so that is the plan well Molly is antsy she's ready to go home she's tired and exhausted for a long day and I don't know I think she maybe pooped so, so that's the plan. All right, guys, peace.